Okay, so this is the second game. This version has a peeling requirement. So the white clip is again for hoop one. That's where we start. Red and blue are the scoring clips for the red and yellow and blue and black teams. We've used black and yellow to indicate how many peels are required. In this case, uh, each team is required to do three peels to move their peeling clip from hoop four to hoop five, then from five to six, and from six to the peg. Okay? Moving the peeling clip uh, is not an additional point. The peel or the score moves the scoring clip, but this just keeps track of how many peels has to be made before they can peg out. All right, gentlemen, mount your horses. Alternate, let's just alternate. Steven asked, are we flipping again? And I said, no, just alternate. Oh, Steven, I made one mistake in the rules. Wherever striker goes, he goes, unless he goes out. Okay? So okay, I understand it's association. Well, not have that in on the That's correct. That's correct. So this is game two. It's the same as last time, except the middle of three difficulties. They can mark balls in one or four, and both teams have a three-hoop peeling requirement. You'll see how that comes into play as we start. Got the, got the play. That was cool. It's that okay. Was cool. Oh, you caught the picture? Yeah, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Matthew shoots toward the middle, which is a very interesting opening. If Steven shoots hard and misses, it puts it right near the eastern opportunity spot. So he can't afford to do that. Steven can afford to shoot gently at blue if he wants to. Or Steven could go longer. We'll see what he does. Yep, he's shooting gently at blue. And misses. Black has the same issue. If he shoots too hard, it really sets up yellow. So opening to the center is interesting in this game. Ooh, hits red. Now, since yellow has not come in, he will automatically play from an opportunity spot. So the benefit of peeling this time would be to advance the peeling clip and to score, but it won't freeze yellow. And in fact, if Matthew is successful peeling blue at one, blue would be stranded in front of hoop one, where he finishes up the peel, and be a sitting duck for yellow. So it's not terribly wise to peel at hoop one as the third ball. Making makes much more sense. Leaving blue south of one. Huh. I don't... He may peel anyway just because the benefit of peeling is getting the peels done is very important. three miles away. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you for towing me. <laughs> okay. So, Matthew is going to move three clips, Matthew. Matthew, move move blue. Hmm? Right, right. So, we're now playing for hoop two. The blue and black team have one point. That's where blue will be. The black clip is advanced from four to five, indicating that Matthew has completed one peel. 
he has to complete three. So he'll comp five and six is where to, to six and then to the peg is where to move next. Matthew has one more shot. If Matthew could, he might just try to scatter blue. Because he knows that yellow has a shot. Nope. Okay. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> Matthew is shooting for hoop, too. Okay, Matthew. Thank you. <laughs> Why not? No, he actually had a straight shot at it. But, yeah. Just missed. Okay. Steven takes over. Yellow finally enters the game. It's one to nothing blue black and blue black have completed one of their three peels steven one or four on black one or four on black it, oh it's already in four i'm sorry go ahead okay sorry i couldn't tell from here not with all the noise of the lightning and thunder. All right, Steven is aiming at blue quite logically. Hits it nicely. Okay. So Blue is a delightful ball to hit. It's the danger ball. Steve can leave blue right there. Go to red and to black. Maybe get the peel. But at least get the point. And if he could now rush red over and do the peel, he could go to black and still try to make another hoop. Let's see what he does. Yep, he's definitely taking off from blue. Going to red. That's a little hard, I think. But not a disaster for making the hoop. So we'll pause after this turn. Because yeah. it's raining pretty hard. Oh, I think Steven, well, he has to be careful if he tries to peel hard and misses and, and the croquet shot goes out, yeah, his turn ends. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he gets to black. He can try to cut it into peel position. Or he can just make the hoop. He's decided just to make the hoop. Good shot. Routine little croquet shot, right? Good hoop. Steven has one more. And then he'll move the current hoop clip and he'll move the red clip, his scoring clip. Notice he did not move the peeling clip because there was no peel. So blue, the danger ball, will get a, an optional lift to opportunity spot.
Okay. So, Steven's actually trying to get, I think, to get Blue to shoot at yellow. We'll see. Now, do you want to play? Do you want to stop for a little bit? Um, I don't care. I'm happy to go for it. All right. Matthew, go for it. Okay, so Steven's moving the clips. The white clip will go to three, because we're all playing for hoop three. Huh? You want to wait? Let's wait a while. All right. So, Steven, come on in for a while. We'll cut it off for right now. All right, we are ready to go again after the rain delay. Matthew is about to play blue. Go ahead. He gets an, a lift to the opportunity spot, chooses the western one. He'll shoot it redder. I don't think he'll shoot it black. He'll shoot it red. Ooh, I think he missed. Steven will come out, and since red, since blue shot at red, red will have a pretty easy shot at blue. You putting it in four for him? <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. I don't think you have to ask. All right, Stephen is finishing a phone call and will take his turn. He had not expected Matthew to miss. We are still playing for hoop three where the white clip is. <coughs> we are going again. Stephen approaches the lawn. Slightly rain-worn. I don't know if that's the word, but a little wet. Soggy. Is that the British word? Would it affect the speed No. Uh, it could, if, if it had really rained a little harder. This drains very quickly, unlike the English courts, but this... Okay, here Stephen goes. Okay. Danger ball is black. Steven would love to get to black and then maybe to yellow, rush it down to three. Yellow wants blue, so he can leave blue there. Oh, he's just going to go to yellow. Okay. So that suggests to me he's actually going to try to make hoop three with black. With the danger ball. Would you have done it this way? Um. No. Um, only because uh, my whole idea was to try to rush black to hoop three. If I, if I get appeal, great. If not, you can run three all the way to yellow, and you can score four with yellow. Um, but now that he's struck yellow, hence the name only once, he won't be able to play off yellow again. So it looks as if he's going to play to just make one hoop um, or appeal one hoop, whatever whatever way he's planning on doing this. Um, I'm not sure exactly what his idea for yellow is here. Um, maybe that didn't really look like a – Especially when the white clip's going to be on four. That doesn't look like an advantageous position for yellow. I agree. I think, um, I think he did that. He was comfortable getting the rush on black, maybe, with that yeah, particular croquet shot. Maybe so. Um, but that still doesn't make sense for, for black as far as I'm not exactly sure where he plans on leaving black. Um, it looks like he's going to have to play a takeoff to, to score the hoop. And if that's the case, then... Um, then he can leave black right there. Yeah, I guess so. Black will get an opportunity spot. 
but he may even prefer where he is. It's yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's eight yards ball. to uh, to blue right now. Nine, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Take off, make the hoop, and then shoot to yellow. Good shot. Kind of don't want to miss this hoop weaving uh, red by black. Gets it. Oh, he's coming down, and he may be able to score hoop four. Oh, sure. Well, that's a very good question, my friend. Exactly. Can he afford to score the hoop without appeal? You're right. You're right. I think he's going to take it anyway, but you're right. Someone's been reading the rules. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Vance, you're equipped too, Stephen, right? Okay, so Stephen scored... One hoop, his quip, scoring quip, which was on two, indicating he had one point, moves to hoop three, indicating he has two points. And I think my friend Barry here pointed out that uh, making hoop three, or four, sorry, would not have been a good thing for Stephen because he'd then be forced to peel everything else. So I think the miss was a good thing for him. Matthew marks in blue, goes to black, who plays next, and leaves him right where he is, which is always an option to start a turn where the ball is. Misses again. Could Matthew be human? Okay. Now, yellow comes on. We'll see where black went out. And when Steven marks him in four, kind of looks to me like, oh, okay, so I think Steven's going to absolutely peel red at four. That's the goal. Okay, so he hits black. Goes to blue, which is the danger ball. Separates him and comes down to red and really wants the peel, as Barry pointed out. The other possibility is just to move black down to red as a big roll shot and just forget about now he's going to blue. He's going to blue. Makes much more sense. Still send black down here. Mm. Because whatever happens with red, with yellow this turn, red will want black. Okay, blue's way off in the corner. It'd be lovely if he's able to pin him there because he peels. I'd be very surprised if he does anything but take off. But red is in delightful peel prospect. A little harsh. A little harsh. That could absolutely destroy the peel. Might, might 
He has hit black. He sent black there. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, he can't hit black. That's right. That's right. That's right. But he does not have to make this hoop. He, he can roll them both near the hoop, give you the opportunity spot lift. So we're beginning to see the constraint of peeling, which, is, which makes it fun. Hey, Steven, can we talk about this for a minute? It's the first time we've been up against it. Sorry. Okay. Come on over one second. Uh, I was trying to get the peel. I know you were trying to get the peel. You, I we, off, we know that. Whoa, so one possibility here is just to roll both balls so that if he doesn't hit, you can peel easily next time. Well, of course, yeah, that sets him up to... With lift, with go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so I, I believe that Matthew will be able to hit with the opportunity zone being so close to black. So I'm going to try to take my wicket and be as defensive as possible. me, and be as defensive as possible. You're going to be stuck now with three peels in a row. Right, and that's okay. I don't, I don't, it's, uh, I'm going to take my points when I can get them. We'll see okay. how that works out. All right. So that's the balance here against a good player. Uh, yeah, he will make you pay if you run out of hoops. Okay. Lovely hoop. Steven gets one more shot. He can still go to partner. Uh, and and hope that uh, blue doesn't hit black, but he has to peel now. So yeah. hmm. So, Stephen, where's your yellow clip? Stephen, the yellow clip doesn't move. So the peeling clip is on four. He has not had a peel. What's interesting, and the reason we want the clips in a, as well as the traditional markers in golf croquet, is that notice that Stephen's hoop, or Stephen's scoring clip, sorry, red, is now on the same hoop as his peeling clip. That tells us he has to make every other point with peels. Making a hoop is of no value to Steven. He has a three hoop, th three peel requirement. He's made three hoops. He's only going to make six points before pegging out. Now, because red and yellow are together, we know Steven's in a tough spot. Matthew, meanwhile, is two points behind but he's also one peel ahead. I do like Matthew's prospects much better. Now, why? Yeah, I was going to say why Matthew's shooting from there instead of an opportunity spot, I don't know, but he moved it. All right, so he goes to the eastern opportunity spot. he shoots this hard and misses, it goes near an opportunity spot. So at least he's shooting at the spent ball. In this case. Got it. All right.
We are for hoop five. Matthew can mark yellow in four. I think Matthew's going to try to go to one of black or red, rush it down, peel it, go to the other one, and try to have two hoops and a peel. Well, two peels would be nice too, but uh, he'd be quite happy with a peel and a hoop. So I think it's black he's going to try to rush. But he can also, even if he doesn't, if he can score the hoop hard if black's not in good position. Ooh, it's peelable. It's peelable. Now, in this peel, he has to decide whether he thinks he's going to get it. Oh, he's not even trying. Okay, he's going to make the hoop and try to go hard to red and peel red. Got it. Very nice. We'll move his clip in a minute. Okay, we are playing for six. Okay, so Matthew's kindly moving his clip, showing that he has... Huh? It's on, yours is on four. Four. He goes four, four, five, six. Okay, here comes the peel attempt, a Russian peel. Nope. Well, maybe. Now the question is, does he take the point? He only has one peel. He's just, he wants this peel. Missed. I think he's going to scatter red. No, he makes the hoop. Okay. Had all the balls. So we're now going to be playing for hoop seven. Matthew will advance his clip. So he and Steven are tied in score. But Matthew has one peel and Steven has none. He made two hoops that just then. He, so ma he made one or two already. No, no, no he, th this is correct. This is correct. Okay. Now he's moved it twice now, Stephen. Uh, you each have three points. Okay. Stephen, check out the weather, see if you're comfortable playing. If you want to rest a minute, we can. It's up to you. We are on the air again. Clouds of split, splitting open. Not the clouds. Uh, there. Sunshine's coming out. Briefly, we hope. Or we'll stay out. Anyway, Stephen to play. Remember, Stephen has to peel. Go for it. One or four there, Stephen. So I think Stephen's trying to get behind yellow. If he does, he may rush it to one back. 
If he doesn't, he may rush yellow to, or croquet yellow to try to get a rush on black. Okay. Okay, so if it's black, he's going to try to rush. As long as he gets black to the north of one back, he should have an attempt. So uh, even though Matthew says he wired it from one back, there's a pretty wide area to attempt the peel. The trouble is, if he attempts and fails but leaves the ball there, it'll be Matthew's, and Matthew would love the peel too. Here we go. Yep. Yep. So that's peelable. One or four. It may be better at one for the angle. Yeah, you'd rather the angle, but if you peel, yeah, peel hard so that if it misses, you don't leave Matthew a total gift. But peel easy, and if you jaws, you can scatter peel and get it anyway. So all sorts of choices here. Let's see what he does. Okay, that ends his turn because black went out on a croquet shot. So turn over. Black is now the striker ball. So except for the fact it ends the turn, it really almost doesn't matter where he goes because Matthew will take the... Which lift will he take? If Matthew can hit yellow from the eastern opportunity spot, life should be pretty easy. Matthew, you get opportunity spot, either one. Hint, hint. <laughs> yes, you can. Anything you want. That was a good try. Yeah. All right, Matthew's shooting at partner. Because he doesn't want to shoot at red. He wants to save red for the peel. Misses. Okay. <clears throat> Yellow will play. Yellow hits black. And has blue to get to red and the peel. He, he's picking up yellow. Yellow's playing. Black, blue, red. But the yellow's at the same distance from black. Well, maybe I'm right. Yeah, I think he's shooting at black. Let's see. I would.
Nice shot. And shooting at blue, like you suggested, Barry, yeah. would put the ball near the opportunity spot if he missed. All right. Let's see him go to blue. Blue is the danger ball. So to get, not only does he have to peel it in order to score a point, but he'd like to get blue away so that blue doesn't have a shot easily on his turn. Okay. Now, what does he do with blue? Black is pretty close to the western opportunity spot. But Steve knows that, and he knows he has to peel. So where can he send blue while still going to red and separate blue from the action? And I think that the best he can do is send it down to corner one. Or, well, okay, he's going to try the other side. But he's got to get a rush on red. He has to peel. He's going to try it. I mean, that's clearly the max distance for blue. Oh, great shot, Steven. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Now, the question is, can he Aspinall it? I don't know which side he's on. Can he rush it in? Okay. Steven is now going to try a scatter peel. Certainly doable. No. Good try, Steven. All right. Look at the gift that Blue has. <laughs> mm -hmm, says Matthew. Red is just sitting there to be peeled. Right. So Matthew picks up blue, goes to yellow, goes to red, and he's going to peel red going to black and try to get two points. So, yep, we can rush yellow to red. And then I think he peels red going to black and tries for two points. He's got a choice here to try the rush peel, which he's doing. Yep. Which means he gets a croquet shot to get behind black. So you want to move the three clips, please? Thank you.
We're now... Everybody's playing for Hoop 8. Matthew has... Moved his team's clip to hoop five, indicating that he scored four points, and he moves his peeling clip from hoop five to hoop six, indicating that he's peeled twice. One more, one more now. One more peel needed. Now he can try to peel this. He certainly will give it a try. Very nice. Mm, too long. Okay, well, he'll take the point. Not sure what he's trying to do. He <laughs> yeah. Now he could have tried to push black through and then do a scatter peel, but I think he's just gonna take the point. Okay. So everybody is playing for hoop nine. Matthew's scoring clip. And his peeling clip are now on the same hoop. So he is in the same predicament that Steve is in with only one peel left. So Matthew has to peel, Steven has to peel. It's Steven to play with no lift, Steven, because there was a peel. Red to play. Is it red to play? Yep. Matthew gets his one continuation shot. Nice. Steven, what do you hit first, the stanchion or the ball? Stanchion. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter. Just asking. I could tell by the sound, I think. It was definitely stanchion first. All good. Mm -hmm. Now, Steven could just rush black to hoop nine and try the peel. Oh, that's good. Stop, stop, stop. One or four, Stephen. I think he'll take four this time. Because the decrease in distance is probably worth more. Well. Okay, here we go. Steven lines up the peel.
Doesn't get it. Now he wants to get rid of... Oh, he's got to... I wouldn't have left black there. Yeah, I would turn him and knock black away, but... Well, no, his notion is black plays next, so there's no need to... No need to knock black away. I had it wrong. All right. It is black to play. You get a lift of opportunity if you want it. <laughs> Looks good. Take it. Let's see it. A triple. Triple target is what he's saying. But you give it to yellow if you miss. Yeah, I think it makes much more sense to go to the opportunity spot and shoot a blue. And shoot it blue. Huh, four yards. Sorry, he has a question about marking in. So it's just it's just like in AC, you got to pick which side. So red's a corner ball and yellow's a corner ball. So he will be in contact. Uh, yes. And so gives up the triple but gives himself a double. Here we go. It's good to know the rules. Hit red. All right, now he marks in red only one, I believe, in order to give himself a rush on yellow. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Now, do you go to blue or do you go to the hoop? Yeah. He's going to blue. You can. So, he can mark in red since he'd left him at one. So, Matthew, when you took off or whatever, red didn't come in more than the one, did it? Oh, yes, you still could mark it to four. You're fine. I'm sorry. Okay. Remember our current hoop, where the white clip is, is hoop nine. Mm, is it long enough? Is it long enough? Oh my goodness, it's perfect. Perfect shot. Okay, few attempt. This would be his sixth point and his third peel. This must be a peel. He can't score the point without it since blue and black clips are both on hoop six. Gets it. 
now. The current hoop switches to 10. And Steven will still be playing for the current hoop. Matthew now, both of his clips are on the peg. So what's left for Matthew is to peg them both out. But it's not going to happen this turn. Since there's a peel, yellow plays next, he could just simply gamble and give himself a rush to the peg. If yellow fails to hit probably red, it's all over. But that's a big gamble, and I don't think he's going to take it. Okay. Oh, you peeled blue. Sorry. That's wrong. Wrong ball. You peeled blue. It was black to play. Huh? There should be. What's it in AC? What happens in AC, Stephen? Oh, come on. You guys are champion AC players. You're just at the tournament. I'm pretty sure. Come over. there's no fault it's just misplayed ball, do you play um, the ball? no 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 you do not get to play the correct ball the ball goes back and it's in the turn okay fine okay thank you thank you appreciate it useful to have fans checking in Yeah, you had a better shot on it. You could have hit blue. All right. So, Matthew played wrong ball. We've interpreted that to mean that the ball goes back. He played blue when he shouldn't have. Should have played black. That blue just goes back, and Steve takes over, which he's doing. Yeah, he's, hold on, Steven. Steven. Yellow to play. <laughs> One wrong ball at a time, guys. Thank you. We all need another drink. <laughs> oh, all right. It is blue to play. Yes, yes. So, Matthew, you have a you have a lift to opportunity spot if you want it. Hmm? I would think so. Just giving him all his options, but going to yellow is obviously the right way. Oh, <laughs> for Matthew, that was almost a miss. Okay. So we're going to play one more game, presumably Matthew pegs out. And this time, the hardest version. No mark in to four. Whoa. I, I could miss the peg out. I don't think Matthew will. It'd be a grievous. It, it'd be a, 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 his turn would be over. Yeah. Yep. In association, there's no ball to play from. Should be like that American, but they don't play that way. Nine inches. Nine inches. Anywhere around the peg. Yeah. 
Yay, okay, second game over.